Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about Fishing Simulator, which is my new favorite game, by the way. And I'm going to be explaining how to make a ton of money. So I'm level 31. It's not the best level in the game, and I'm not like the best player in the game, but I'm pretty experienced, and I've made like 500,000 coins in total or something. And also my aquarium. I put 30 blue fish in here, so it's pretty cool. So when you're first starting out, first of all, there's two codes. First code is whale of a time two and sub to gaming dan so yeah i started out this game about two days ago and you just have to fish and work up you got to make a lot of money before you start actually getting anything also get a boat boats are really helpful in this game i have a yacht and it's a very nice yacht so i would suggest getting a boat and also let me explain the upgrades so a lot of people get confused with all these upgrades and they don't know what they mean so I'm going to explain every single thing on here. So for spears you can actually kill sharks and orcas in this game and then they'll give you like meat or, or sometimes they'll give you a shark head or an orca head and those sell for a lot of money. But I would still suggest doing fishing because it actually makes you more money but this is pretty fun and also sometimes sharks just attack you if you're fishing in the middle of the ocean you might be attacked so have a good spear, they're, they're handy. Obviously backpacks are very important. I have the washing machine backpack and it just gives you backpack space so that's pretty self-explanatory. And then creature locator. So this is a very helpful thing if you are into hunting orcas, sharks, then get this. And this is a very powerful tool for people that are fishing. It shows where the hot spots are, where you have a greater chance of catching better rarities of fish. So if you have this, it's going to show red dot on your map and that red dot is the area where there's really rare fish another thing that i forgot to mention is there's chests so most of the time you actually get a common chest but i was doing that for a long time and then i actually got this legendary skin so it's skins for your fishing rod but they actually do benefit you sometimes so this lava rod i, I got that lava rod by finishing an obby in the volcano i'm not going to talk about that if you want to know how to finish the obby in the volcano to get the lava rod so you could fish on the top of the volcano then you can watch another video about it but i opened the chest for 5,000 coins i got really lucky and i got this legendary skin which gives me 15 percent more rarity level on my fishing rod so a common mistake i see people do when they're fishing on a yacht or any boat in the ocean is they're gonna catch a ton of common fish uncommon fish don't get common fish it's just a waste of time they're not going to give you any money, it's barely any money compared to how much you get a legendary fish. So hold out your fishing rod and click and then this is what most people do. They just wait and then when they see the bubbles they just click and they accept whatever fish they get. You're not going to do that, okay? So get your fishing rod out, click the ocean and get your camera under the water, okay? So you know how your camera is here? You have to flip it and then go under the water. So now you can actually see what fish you're getting. And you don't have to click anything, just... Okay, look, we just got a mythic. So, as you can see, I didn't. I, I, had, I had a few clownfish and stuff. I didn't get the clownfish. They're clowns. I got the mythic, though. This is a really good fish right here. And now I'm gonna get it, and boom. Mythic sunfish, just like that. Let's do it again. So I have my camera under the water, and I'm. this is a common, so don't, don't get this one. This is a common fish for the ocean. You're just gonna wait until you get something like the sunfish, or a legendary... So right now I'm looking underwater and as you can see I'm getting a lot of common fish, uncommon fish. So I'm just skipping it. I'm not pressing anything. And there, okay, that's a legendary fish right there. So now we're going to get the legendary fish. And just like that, see, I skipped all of the common fish. I skipped all of the uncommon fish. Went straight to the legendary rainbow parrot fish. That's how you have to do it. Because you're going to save your backpack space and eventually you're going to fill this all up with legendaries and mythics so there's three worlds so far in this game now actually like next week on the weekend soon they're going to be adding another world but for now there's three there is the main island where you spawn as a beginner then there's the volcano island which you unlock once you reach i believe it's level 10 and then you unlock this island which is called shadow isles at level 25. And right here, as you can see from my fish index, these are the five fish that you can get at Port Jackson. So this is called Port Jackson. 
So one of these five fish is what you're gonna get when you're fishing at those docks right there as a beginner for this game. Once you get to Eruption Island, which is that thing with the big volcano, there is seven types of fish that you can get when you're fishing on the dock of Eruption Island. Now let's say you finish the obby. If you watch a video, you'll know how to finish the obby. It's not that hard. Once you finish that obby, there will be a chest, and in that chest is, of course, the lava rod skin. And that allows you to fish in the lava over here on the top of the volcano. And that gives you these three. And then there's Shadow Isles, which is this one you unlock at level 25. So there's eight types of fish. And the way you get the blue fish, which is the rarest fish in the game, but I've actually gotten this fish a ton of times. So you have to get like TNT, and then you have to blow up the spawn. There's probably videos on it, I'm not going to explain it. But at Shadow Isles, there's a whole other water in the Shadow Isles. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's like a pond inside of a cave in Shadow Isles. Like over there, there's a cave. So you have to blow up that cave with TNT, and then it'll unlock the cave and there's gonna be a pond where you fish to get the blue fish. And then of course the ocean, which is just the middle of everything. I'm in the ocean right now. And you can see sunfish, which I got. I got a sunfish right here. And also the legendary, which I got. So there's six types in the ocean. So if you're wondering what game passes to buy, if you have a lot of Robux and you're planning on buying a game pass, but you don't know what game pass to get. Two times XP, I've found this to not be very helpful for 400 Robux. But if I bought this from the start, I would be at level 62. Radio does not benefit you in any way. You can just play songs while fishing, but like, just you can do that on Spotify. So just save 250 Robux and don't buy the radio. So Double Sprint is actually the only game pass that I bought from all of these. First of all, it's the cheapest. I believe it's 100 Robux. And it just lets you run faster. So instead of running like pretty slow, I'm not sure what the speed is, but I run very fast, as you can see right here. So, yeah. Double sprint just makes you run faster. Better luck. This one's pretty good. It's 500 Robux, and you're going to catch more rare fish. So, better luck. Pretty good game pass. Times two coins gives you more coins. That's a very good one. And double catch catch is also pretty cheap. 250. And let's say you get a mythic in Shadow Isles. Well, then you're going to get two mythics. So, it's pretty good. Thank you so much for watching my guide on fishing simulator and how to get coins. Peace out.